Hey guys, Paradox Cubing here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys some algorithms for trickier F2L cases. And in my last video, I showed you guys algorithms for for easier F2L cases, and um, those weren't all the F2L cases, so the rest of them are in this video. So the first case we have is where the corner piece is above its slot, and then the edge piece is beside it, but but the front two colors are the same, and the cross color is facing the top on the corner piece. So the algorithm for this is u r u prime r prime u prime r u prime r prime and that pairs them up and then u r u prime r prime and that is now solved. So the next case is the same thing except now it's the mirror for it and the edge piece instead of being here is now here and the the front two colors are the same here so there's two algorithms for this it's this you could do the same thing while holding it here and then performing this algorithm but the algorithm that I'm going to show you um, you can perform from this angle so you don't have to turn it like this but if you did then you perform the same algorithm that I showed you before but all with your left hand so now I'm going to show you the algorithm for this in this angle so the algorithm is u prime r u r2 f r f prime r u prime r prime and now it's solved so this next case is where the corner piece is on it is above its slot and the edge piece is in the slot but but not oriented properly so the algorithm for this is u prime r u r prime d r prime u prime r and that solves it back here the next case is the same as the last one except now the cross color on the corner piece is facing the right side you want to hold it so that the slot is back here and the algorithm for this is u r prime u prime r and then you q rotate back u prime r u r prime and that solves it so this next case is really tricky and it was the algorithm is kind of and the algorithm is kind of long too but it's pretty helpful. So the algorithm for this is r prime f r f prime r u prime r prime u r u prime r prime u2 r u prime r prime so it's kind of a long algorithm, but at least there aren't any cube rotations or awkward moves. So this next case is where the edge piece is um, oriented and in and, and its proper spot. But the corner piece is also in the spot, but not oriented properly. And the cross color is to the right. So the algorithm for this is R U R prime U prime to take you out of the slot. And then it's U prime R u prime r u r u r prime and that solves it the next case is the same one as the last one except now the corner piece is oriented so that the cross color is facing u so the algorithm for this is r u r prime u prime r u 2 r prime u prime r u r prime and that solves the case so this next case is where the edge piece is not oriented but it's in its right spot and then the corner piece is also not oriented but in the right spot and the cross color is facing u so the algorithm for this is r u prime r prime d r prime u prime r u prime r prime u prime r and that solves this case back here so the next case is the same one as the last one except it's the mirror for it so the edge piece is also not oriented and the corner piece is not oriented but the and the cross color is on the right side so the algorithm for this is r u prime r prime u 
D R prime U prime R U prime R prime U R and that solves the case back here so this next case is actually one of my favorites because it's really fast and easy to solve and it comes up a lot as well so the algorithm for this is basically the sexy move three times and you get, uh, I do it like U R U prime R prime I repeat that trigger three times but it's but it's the same thing you could do R U R prime U prime it's essentially the same thing so I just prefer doing it backwards U R U prime R prime and then you do that three times so U R U prime R prime U R U prime R prime and that solves it so that's why I really like this case because it's extremely fast and easy to solve the next case is where the edge piece is up here the corner piece is down here in its slot but it's not oriented properly and the cross color is facing you so you want to hold it so that the cube is like this so the slot is back here and then the algorithm is r prime u prime r u r prime u prime r and that solves it it's, it's really fast so this next case I just don't like this case so you could hold it like this and then uh, I think I showed the mirror for this either in the previous video or earlier in this video so so it's L prime U L U2 and then Q rotate R U R prime so the next case is the same one except it's a mirror for it and the algorithm for this is R U prime R prime U lowercase d R prime U prime R and that solves it. The next case is pretty easy to solve as well. It's where the corner piece is, up, is uh, above the slot and then the edge piece is behind it and the side two colors are different. So the algorithm for this is R U2 R prime U prime R U R prime and that solves it. So the next case is the same one but the edge piece is now here. You hold it like this where it's on the left and you're going to repeat the same algorithm but with your left hand now. So it's L prime, U2, L, U, U, L prime, U prime, L. So that solves it right here. So the next case is where the corner piece is oriented in its proper spot. And the edge piece is up here with the front of the edge piece and the center piece matching. The color is matching. So... This is pretty simple. This is beginner's method. So if you if you ever use beginner's method, you'd probably do it like this. So now you just do it like this now. So it's U R U prime R prime cube rotation U prime R prime U R, and that solves it back here. So the next case is the same one except now the corner piece is here. So it's U prime L prime U L prime U cube rotation r u prime r prime and that solves it and this is last case with the corner piece here and with the cross color facing us and the edge piece up here and the, for this it's really simple it's r u prime r prime to pair them up and then it's u r u prime r prime to solve it so yeah guys that was it for this video i've shown you guys all the algorithms if you've missed some algorithms or you didn't see them in this video then that's because they're in my last video so thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.